Okay, this is 7663 East Adobe Drive. It's in Greyhawk. Really nice neighborhood. So when you enter the home, you enter a really nice great room concept. The room is quite large. It's probably 20 by 15, I would say. Um, nice ceiling fan. Nice view out to the backyard, which is really private. The tile in the throughout the home is really pretty. It's a we got tannish brown travertine. Home, you can see wraps into the kitchen over there. We'll get to that. And then uh, a really nice dining room with some beautiful built-ins. Tons of storage there. And a little half wall that kind of gives you just a little deline delineation uh, for the foyer. So let's go take a look into the kitchen. A little niche, you could do something interesting there. Paint the back of it, color, or something like that. Nice cherry cabinets. Um, granite backsplash and counters, or it's granite tile. And if you wanted, if you decided to redo the kitchen, you could always lift up that soffit and make a whole another row of cabinets, give you even more space. It's a nice sizable island. You can get, I, there's two stools here, but you could easily get three, even four with company. A double door pantry and a nice little desk area. You can keep a little laptop there, whatever, do your bills, kind of keep it off your main counters. Nice outdoor space. All the stories, or all the houses surrounding are one story, which is nice, so it's very private. Nice little paver patio here. And a little plant area, this could be really cute. With some pretty flowers, or you could have an elevated, you know, herb, herb garden, something like that. A little patch of grass for color. You could always put a putting green there. Nice little built-in barbecue, a little ice chest, or a sideburn, excuse me, that is, I guess. So it could be a great lock and leave, or you know, just um, perfect for a couple, small family. It has four bedrooms and three bathrooms. Let's go on down. There's this really nice den. It can also act as a as another bedroom. So it has beautiful. You can see these beautiful built-ins. But if you didn't, if you needed an extra bedroom, you could remove the built-ins, and that would be a perfect place to frame in a closet. Nice big window. Carpeting, you can see is it's the same carpeting throughout. It's all um, been replaced. And guest bathroom here. The travertine on the floor, marble surround. Another good sized bedroom, really great light that comes into this room. And then this bedroom can, it has a separate entrance, so you could use it like a guest quarter, casita. Um, if you would, you know, if you if you wanted your guests to have separate entrance, which is nice, and has a nice big window to the front of the house, lets in some really nice light, and then a full bath attached here, so that's very nice. Full shower, single sink, marble surround. Let's go check out the master. Okay, we're heading from the front door. It's a split floor plan. <clears throat> so we're heading to the right-hand side of the house, which is uh, houses the laundry room, which is actually a really good size. And no wash and dry here um, in here right now. And that, this is a nice little nook right here. You could build in like a really nice bench, uh, put some, um, or little lockers if you have kids. Um, hooks to hang coats up. Here's a master with a nice patio door. To the outside, a ceiling fan, tall ceilings in here, about 10 feet. Paint in the home is nice, looks like it was painted not that long ago. So there's a double sink in the master here, and then like a garden tub, and you get a really nice bunch of light. It's warm here today, so I kept the blinds closed to keep the room cool. Shower is good size too. Definitely room to move around. You're not going to hit your elbows. And then a really nice walk-in closet. Plenty of storage. And then they have, which is nice, these built-in shelves. Put shoes, sweaters, whatever you like on there. So the home is listed at 475. It's just shy of 3,000 square feet, 2296 to be exact. And we are in the 85255 area code. 
Greyhawk School District, or Paradise Valley, I guess, by Greyhawk Elementary, Desert Shadows Junior High, and Pinnacle High School. Give me a call if you'd like some extra information about the property. Thank you.